Hello! In this video we will talk about how you can convert the click position on the minimap to the world location in the game. At the moment we have a minimap which shows a green point, a, green, uh, a blue point for our player, green points for our friends, red points for our enemies and some arrows if these red points get out of view. So, now we want to make that if we click on the minimap, like this, something happens. So, what should happen? Um, let's make that there where we click an explosion gets spawned in the world, because it looks great. So for this, get into the minimap functions blueprint. We have the function on click, and this function gives you the owning player, the world location and the traced world location. The world location is just the location with Z0 and the traced world location is the world location which is traced down against a certain trace channel and this trace channel you can specify in your main UI where you have the minimap, if you click on the minimap on the right you have the resolution which is the resolution of um, the background which is here in our example by the capture cam if you use your own one you would use your own resolution the is circle or rectangle we use a circle so it's a circle and the third uh, option is the ground trace channel here you, you can select all the trace channels you have currently in your um, in your game I only have visibility and camera so we will use a visibility. This means we tra trace against visibility. Everything which is visible can get hit by a trace. And at the moment this is fine. But you could for example want that only the terrain gets hit by the trace and then you would create your own trace channel for this. So we have the traced world location. And we want to spawn a particle system at the location. So, we connect these execution wires, our owning player is the world context object and as the emitter we will select the explosion from the stutter content and the location is the traced world location. Rotation we don't need and auto destroy is good because then the emitter gets destroyed after it finished. And this was everything you need to do. Compile, save, hit play. And now, when we click on the minimap, you see an explosion spawned in the world. So, when I try to click exactly on where I stand, then this explosion gets spawned directly where my player character is. So, you could do, could do everything you want. You could uh, teleport the player to a position where you click, or you could do what I do, spawn a particle system, or anything you want. Just do it inside of the onClick function in the minimap functions blueprint. And this was everything. It's really, really simple to do. So, this was this third video. I hope you like it and see you in the next video.